All right, folks, we're at Paris Natural Farms. We're cleaning trays, and today we're going to answer the age-old question of how do you sanitize with hydrogen peroxide and what are the dilution levels? So I'm gonna get on a little soapbox before we start all that. I know it's a popular sanitizer to use out there. You can rarely type in, how do I sanitize trays without hydrogen peroxide coming up? There's the 3% that you can get over the counter, or there's 20, 24, 33%. We have a bottle of 33% today, and we're going to dilute that down into an 11 to one ratio for cleaning the trays. And we're gonna give you that math here in a little bit. But before I do, I wanna talk a little bit about why hydrogen peroxide may not be the best alternative to your farm. Number one, to do the trays that we did, we used about $24 worth of 33% hydrogen peroxide. That's crazy expensive for the return. Now, it's great to reduce pathogens and fungus and mold and all that other stuff, but you'll find that in the restaurant industry, there's a lot of other solutions that can dilute down that's far more cost effective. So just because you read something online may or may not be the best solution to your farm, just like any of our videos too. You have to take all the information and put it within a framework that works best for you. So with all that in mind, let's get into how to dilute hydrogen peroxide to sanitize your trays. One of the things that makes it so effective is its ability to break down organic compounds. So think about, dirt, leaf tissue, anything that we're actually growing or pulling out of the dirt. Whenever hydrogen peroxide hits that organic matter, the oxygen breaks down that matter into little pieces, helping scrub away. It's also a great disinfectant. That extra oxygen helps break down the cell walls of viruses, pathogens, funguses, anything that may cause a problem when you're transferring your trays into another grow. And a lot of times, if we're buying it at the 33%, it's a very versatile cleaning aid. If you have some other stains around the farm, perhaps a tarp, or maybe some extra mold that's developed in wet areas, uh, sometimes uh, plastic of the greenhouse will get an extra mold and you can use those higher dilution rates for that. You have to use caution, use gloves, use goggles. It can burn the skin, it can irritate the eyes for sure. The smell's not great. And please don't ever, ever mix it with ammonia or bleach or any other chemical as it will release fumes that are not great. We're in a semi-outdoor environment, so we're going to do all of our mixing here. It's a well-ventilated area. It's perfect for this type of operation. When you get done, dispose of the unused water. Remember, this is just oxygen and water, so just putting it out uh, to wherever you're normally draining is going to be just fine. It's not going to cause any pollutants or anything like that. It's going to break down very fast. But please store the unused portion and the bottle itself away from kids, pets, anything like that. Pretty common sense. Okay, again, there's a lot of different applications for 33% hydrogen peroxide, but what we're doing is we're going to clean all these trays in a soak, wash, rinse, and then sanitize solution. Once we dip the trays in the sanitizer solution, it's quickly going to break down without an additional rinse. We're gonna stack them up, they're gonna air dry in the sun, and they're gonna be good to go after that. Again, we're not cleaning grease, we're not cleaning clothes, we're not doing anything else other than sanitizing trays. It's a food grade, 33% hydrogen solution, and we're going to mix this down to an 11 to one ratio. So to understand the ratio, 11 parts of water to one part of concentrate, making a total of 12 parts. So here's how to universally figure out how much of the 33% hydrogen peroxide is going to go into any volume of water. So you're going to divide the total volume by 12, which is the total parts to find the amount of concentrate. And then you're gonna subtract the concentrate volume from the total volume to get the water volume. So let me break that down between a metric example and an imperial example. If you're unaware, the metric system is what the entire rest of the world measures things with. So for our American farmers, we're going to break down what one gallon would be. We're going to convert one gallon into ounces. There is 128 ounces in a gallon. We're then going to divide 128 ounces by 12. So 12 parts is 10.67 ounces. You can go ahead and round up to 11. We're then going to go back to the original 128 ounces and then subtract 11 ounces. The 11 ounces is what our dilution ratio is going to be. So that means the 11 parts that are left equals 117.33 ounces. So what all that means is if you have a one gallon container, you can fill up between 10 and 11 ounces of your 33% hydrogen peroxide solution and then fill it up, which is gonna be roughly 117 ounces. If you're doing that in a five gallon bucket, you simply multiply each one of those numbers by five. Now, for everybody else in the world, we're going to look at a liter. Here in a little bit, we're going to be cleaning some of our deep water culture rafts, and I'm going to be spraying them down with this Orion sprayer that we started carrying 
This is a six liter sprayer, but I'm only gonna mix out four liters. So if I'm going to use four liters, what do I do? For four liters, we're going to divide by 12, which is going to give us 0.333 liters. 0.333 liters is 3,667 milliliters. So I'm going to do that 3667 milliliters. I'm going to put this in here first, and then I'm simply going to fill it up until it hits that four liter mark. Easy as pie. So again, I'm setting up my sanitizing station with a soak, wash, rinse, sanitize bath. So for this final step, I'm going to put in six gallons of water inside of this tub for the final dip sanitize before it goes into dry. So for our six gallon sanitation bath, we've added 64 ounces of the hydrogen peroxide. And here's where I get on my soapbox. So a gallon of 33% hydrogen peroxide is gonna run anywhere from 40 to like 48 bucks, depending on where you get it and by the time you get it shipped in, which means that this day's worth of cleaning is gonna cost us roughly $24, $25 to sanitize this amount if you do it this way. Could we have used less? Could we use a little bit less water? Absolutely. I'm going for the time savings of being able to dip and go. Uh, if you spray it down, it's going to be a little bit better. But I know hydrogen peroxide is like super popular in the notes and, and everything else that you see, but there is far better sanitizers that are way, way cheaper and less caustic than hydrogen peroxide. So take a look at Sandstar, take a look at anything that you would use uh, in the restaurant industry, look up restaurant suppliers. Sandstar seems to be our favorite one that we like to talk about uh, at Bootstrap Farmer internally. That's what we uh, recommend with the tray washer. So in addition to Star Sand, there's Oasis 146, Sterachine, Sandat 12, and Noble Sand Eye 512. You can see all of those plus the dilution ratios on the link below to our tray washer in which we give those dilution rates for the tray washer, but you can also look at that for this type of operation. The whole purpose of sanitizing is to make sure we're killing fungus, pathogens, any kind of microbes that make it through this process so we have a nice clean sterile environment for the next round of growth. So we did the tub, now let's do a dilution ratio for a sprayer, for any type of other, like, like let's say you want to sanitize this whole wash pack, or if you're gonna do what we're going to do here in a little bit and do uh, raft trays or anything like that, you may wanna sterilize a big thing all at once and the sprayer is where to go. We're just gonna fill up the four liters. Remember, there's 36, 67 milliliters per gallon. We're going to fill that up and then fill up the rest with water and then we're ready to go. Now that we've put our hydrogen peroxide in, we're just going to fill it up to the four gallon mark, which is here. I'm just gonna make a little mark so it's easier to see, and then we'll get going. All right, folks, that's it. Stack of trays are clean behind us. They're air drying right now in the sun. Just keep in mind that hydrogen peroxide, I do like a very, very low grade, 3% diluted down, about an ounce per gallon to soak seeds. That's gonna get mold pathogens off before they go into the actual grove. And uh, if you put an aerator in there to kind of bubble it up, that helps kind of agitate it a little bit. So I do like hydrogen peroxide for that. For this particular application, even though it's popular, even though we went through the whole operation of it and, and showing you how to delete it for tray sanitation, remember that there's other sanitizers out there that are going to be just as effective but far less costly. So just check the dilution rates uh, per the manufacturer. They're gonna have them in there as to what they're gonna dilute down to. Hope you enjoyed this video. Getting Kind of getting back to basics on this one. If you have any questions or you wanna tell us what we did wrong down below, we'd have be happy to have a dialogue or answer any of those questions. And we'll see you in the next video. Good luck out there.